Thousands of miles apart, separated by mountains, deserts, and oceans, two great civilizations flourished, each birthing legends, philosophies, and empires that shaped the world. On one side, the mystic depths of ancient India. On the other, the marble columns and mythic tales of ancient Greece. For centuries, they were thought to be strangers in time, disconnected, isolated, entirely separate stories on the scroll of human history. But recently, something changed. Deep beneath crumbling ruins and forgotten burial sites, scientists unearthed ancient DNA, fragments of genetic code locked inside the bones of warriors, priests, and nomads. What they found? A molecular trail that should not exist. A genetic signature that defies geography. A silent link between two distant lands. Encoded not in scrolls or stone, but in blood. This isn't about trade routes or myths. This is about shared ancestry, hidden for over 2,000 years. How could people separated by such vast distances carry the same genetic markers? Was there a lost migration? A forgotten empire? Or is history far more entangled than we ever imagined? One question remains. What does ancient DNA truly reveal about the secret connection between India and Greece? Two of the world's oldest and most sophisticated civilizations, ancient India with its sacred texts, urban marvels like Mohenjo-Daro, and a continuous cultural thread stretching back over 5,000 years, and ancient Greece, the cradle of Western philosophy, mathematics, and democracy rising to glory around 800 BCE. Each left behind colossal legacies in stone, scripture, and science. But historically, they were considered separate realms, civilizations that developed in parallel, not in contact. The distance between them? Over 4,000 kilometers. Impassable mountains like the Hindu Kush, arid deserts stretching across Iran. Empires that rose and fell between them, Persians, Mesopotamians, Bactrians, yet none hinted at a shared genetic lineage between Greece and the Indian subcontinent. Until now, while trade routes like the Silk Road did eventually link east and west, they came centuries after these civilizations had already bloomed. And cultural exchanges, like the arrival of Alexander the Great in India, were recorded as brief and limited. There was no known foundation for a biological connection, but ancient DNA says otherwise. Not just myths or speculative linguistics, tangible genetic evidence dug from graves and sequenced in labs now challenges the very foundation of what we believed about ancient migrations and identity. It hints at a forgotten chapter in humanity's journey one that transcends borders and rewrites timelines. What happened in the deep past to cause this invisible bridge of blood? It began with a skeleton. Buried in a sun-bleached tomb in northern India, the remains seemed unremarkable at first. A man in his late twenties, interred with clay vessels and fragments of copper, typical of the late Indus Valley period. But something about the site drew attention. It was far from the main urban centers, located in the dry outskirts of what is now Haryana. When archaeologists excavated deeper, they uncovered more bodies, dozens of them, an ancient burial ground untouched for over 3,800 years. Meanwhile, across the world, another find was unfolding. In a windswept cave in northern Greece, Geneticists had extracted DNA from Mycenaean-era bones, elite warriors from a civilization nearly as old. The initial goal? To understand the population dynamics of Bronze Age Europe. But when the data was uploaded into global genomic databases, something startling appeared. A match. A genetic strand, rare and distinctive, present in both populations. One in India one in Greece, 
At first, it was dismissed as contamination, an anomaly, but the results were replicated, then confirmed. Over a dozen individuals across both sites shared this identical genetic marker, a marker that suggested a shared ancestry dating back over 4,000 years. This wasn't supposed to be possible. The Indo-Greek interactions we know of were centuries later, and culturally driven, not biological. Yet here was DNA whispering a different story. A story lost in time and buried in bone. The discovery ignited a firestorm in academic circles. Two ancient burial sites, thousands of kilometers apart, linked by a shared genetic signature. Researchers from institutions in Delhi, Athens, and Cambridge joined forces, launching a multi-year project to trace the origins of this enigmatic lineage. They called it Project Helix Crossing, a coordinated investigation into the genetic corridors of prehistory. But the road to answers was anything but smooth. First came the problem of contamination. Could modern DNA have skewed the results? Every sample was reprocessed using ultra-clean lab environments with mitochondrial DNA double-checked across generations. The results held. The marker was real. Then came the question of dating. Was this truly a Bronze Age link or a more recent overlap caused by later migrations? Carbon dating of burial layers confirmed. Both sites predated the known Indo-Greek contacts by more than a thousand years. Still, skepticism remained. Some historians argued for coincidence. Others insisted it was statistical noise. But as more samples were sequenced, over 400 in total, an undeniable pattern emerged. Individuals in both regions carried a variant of haplogroup R1A Z93, a paternal lineage associated with ancient steppe migrations. But the surprise wasn't in the haplogroup. It was in the unique mutation both populations shared, a mutation that had only been found in a few isolated individuals in Central Asia. Until now. What began as a curious anomaly was rapidly evolving into a tectonic shift in our understanding of ancient human movement. Who were these people? Where did they come from? And more importantly, how did their bloodline reach both India and Greece, long before any known contact? To confirm the link, scientists turned to next-generation sequencing, a technology capable of analyzing ancient genomes at an unprecedented level of detail. Dozens of samples from both regions were sent to labs in Europe and Asia. The goal, reconstruct entire genomes, not just fragments. Piece by piece, the story written in DNA began to surface. In both the Indian and Greek samples, researchers identified a rare single nucleotide polymorphism, a specific mutation in chromosome 16. This wasn't common among local populations. In fact, it wasn't even common among known Indo-European migratory groups. It was unique, isolated, and matched with surgical precision. Even more astonishing, bioinformatics analysis dated the origin of this mutation to around 2100 BCE, centuries before the Vedic migration into India or the rise of Mycenaean Greece. This mutation had to come from a third source, an ancestral population that predated both civilizations. The most likely origin? A forgotten group of early Bronze Age nomads who once roamed the Central Asian steppes. A tribe that split, one branch heading west into the Aegean, the other moving east across the Hindu Kush, eventually integrating into Proto-Indo-Aryan societies. Their existence was never documented. No name, no empire. But now, through DNA, their journey was being reconstructed. A ghost population etched into the very cells of two ancient peoples. The evidence was irrefutable. The genetic bridge wasn't myth or theory. It was fact. And it had survived millennia, buried in bone and passed from father to son, waiting to be uncovered by modern science. Imagine a time before empires, 
before writing, before borders. The world, around 2100 BCE, was a vast expanse of wilderness and shifting tribes. In the windswept steppes of Central Asia, a nomadic people moved with the rhythm of the seasons. They rode primitive wagons pulled by oxen, hunted wild game, and carried their dead in portable shrines. They had no written language, but they carried something far more enduring. DNA. Driven by drought, conflict, or curiosity, this group split. One branch followed the rising sun, crossing the rugged terrain of modern-day Afghanistan and Pakistan. They eventually merged with early agricultural societies along the banks of the Saraswati and Indus rivers. Over centuries, their blood mingled with local lineages, influencing language, myth, and belief. These were the Proto-Indo-Aryans, the seeds of ancient India. The other branch turned west, descending into the Balkans and settling along the Aegean coast. They came as outsiders, but over generations, they became part of the Mycenaean world. They brought not only genes, but also motifs, symbols, and oral traditions, elements that would echo in later Greek epics and rituals, unseen, unrecorded, but present. No temples mark their path. No monuments speak their names. But their migration, spanning thousands of kilometers, was one of the most significant genetic journeys in human history. A journey that shaped two of the world's most influential civilizations. A journey that science is only now beginning to trace. For over 4,000 years, their legacy slept beneath the soil. Now, piece by piece, we're finally beginning to remember. For centuries, the connection between India and Greece was a subject of myth, speculation, and forgotten trade. But now, thanks to ancient DNA, we know the truth runs deeper. Beneath the ruins, beyond the scrolls, into the very marrow of our ancestors. These two civilizations, once thought to be entirely separate, share a common origin buried in the Bronze Age, carried forward through unbroken lines of blood. This isn't just about genetics, it's about memory, the kind of memory written not in ink or stone, but in the double helix of every human life. It reveals how history is not linear, but braided, tangled, more interconnected than we ever dared to imagine. As we continue to sequence the past, what other hidden bridges will we uncover? What forgotten migrations still lie beneath our feet, waiting to rewrite everything we thought we knew? Because in the end, the greatest discoveries don't just change our maps. They change who we believe we are. If this journey through time and blood fascinated you, don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and turn on notifications. There's so much more to uncover, and we're just getting started. Watch our next episode to see how another DNA anomaly led to the shocking reclassification of one of history's most famous empires. Because the past is not silent. It's encoded. And now, we're finally learning to listen.